So I think I'm done eating that. I don't know, there's a weird taste to that. Using the car organizer down here just to hang some things. How's it going? Yeah, that's a great view. <laughs> that's pretty cool. What is it? It's called a GFC, Go Fast Camper. It's uh, like a it's like a wedge tent. Oh, right on. Can you get inside? Yeah. Through this, through inside? Yeah, yeah. The floors actually collapse, and so you can actually move the floors and hang out inside. Oh. What's up guys, welcome back to another episode. Today we're doing some truck camping out in the Lake Mead area. I'm actually getting out here pretty late, so instead of searching around in the dark looking for some dispersed camping, I decided to book myself a campground close to home. I'm literally probably about 20 minutes uh, from town, so super easy to get to, no fuss just uh, a nice relaxing peaceful time out i've already kind of set up camp a little bit i'm debating on whether or not to stay in bunk mode but i'm gonna go get my curtains all set up in here and uh, i'm just gonna be hanging out really um it's pretty dark out the views at the campsite though have been really awesome just kind of get things situated here this view. lights on in here so I just have the ready light pods my love-hate relationship with these forma floors this is what happens when you have to do some serious rearranging huge huge mess so I'm just trying to flip the bed back around and that way I can just open this whole space up because right now I was thinking I could leave it in bunk mode like this and then just like scoot this back and forth you know but I am totally going to slice my head open with this if I leave it like that I just know it if I'm like moving up and down so I'm just gonna put it back into normal bed mode for right now so we have this whole space to hang out and cook some dinner. Take this off. There we go. Put the pillows up here. And uh, the reason why I have blow up pillows is that we can easily Put them down if needed, shove these right in here. So they stay somewhat together. Don't lose them. Camera bag. I think I have enough room for this. 
this here. There we go. gonna start the uh, alcohol fire pit but honestly it's it's pretty warm right now so, so I'm gonna close these blinds though I don't know if you guys can hear that flapping around up here all right when I point the camera of course it stops This is why I keep carabiners everywhere so that I can easily just roll up a little bit of the tent material so I don't have to completely close it out. So there you go. So if I don't want to open up the window all the way, I can use a carabiner to kind of stop it because look how big this window. Like you don't want to roll that whole thing up, man. I just want, I just want a little bit of airflow, you know? A couple people commented saying, Oh, you're not using your carabiners correctly. I know how to use these. You need to actually hang these all the way up there, but sometimes you don't want to roll up this whole window. It gives you the ability to roll them up halfway, so that's why I keep carabiners all over the truck. And usually they're hanging, you know, right around here. I got all my J hooks here, and this is what I'm hanging the ready lights with. This mode right here is the flashlight mode for the ready light, so that's why it's just hanging down versus these ones, which is the full on bright lights It's such a nice night tonight, guys. The weather is perfect. It's like 60s right now. Wow, I'm getting so lucky right now. Also, I'm pretty sure I'm missing, <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm missing a pile here, but oh well. It is what it is. such a roll too. It's unfortunate.
for dinner tonight. I got a couple options here. Every time I'm coincidentally in a natural grocery store, I need to buy food for camp the next day, and I know I'm not gonna have time the following day. So this is what I end up with. So we got a keto adobo meal, traditional Filipino dish made with coconut milk, vinegar, soy sauce, garlic, and other spices, creating a tangy dish. Miracle noodle is made from 97% water and 3% plant fiber and is naturally low in calories. This is a, this natural fiber makes you feel full while also enjoying the satisfaction of eating noodles. Wow. Two servings per container and this is only 40 calories. What? This thing is so heavy. I'm impressed. Okay. Let's look at this other one I got. So I got two of these noodle like dishes by Miracle Noodle. And this one's a uh, Thai Tum Yum. Also plant-based, ready in seconds. The reason why I got this, you can you can just heat it up on a quick skillet, you know? <sighs> yeah, this one's only 70 calories and there's two servings. That's crazy, this whole packet is 140 calories. But look how heavy this is. I mean, this is, this is a heavy meal. So I'm, I'm excited, excited for my waistline. So I'm gonna reconfigure the area because I swear the last few times I've cooked sitting down in the bed, I just get so uncomfortable and I usually end up like kneeling. And so what I'm gonna do is set up my chair and then put one of the benches across so that I can like sit and make food at the same time because my legs start like crisscross applesauce. I can't be doing this no more. <laughs> Alrighty, let's do it. Oh. Before anything happens, I'm getting so hungry. Um, have you guys ever had spicy chili, spite, spicy sweet chili flavored burritos? If not, give them a shot because these are amazing. So yeah. Oh man, I'm making a mess. You set up a trash can. Just gotta hang this somewhere. Somewhere that isn't my head. We've been thinking about upgrading, and I'm torn between going new truck route with a truck camper on it, or if we're just switching into van life. I don't know. Some of the things I feel like would be really useful is just to be able to like drive and then just like stand up and be in your van. However, I want the four wheel drive. I know it's not really needed for vans, especially with how heavy they are in the back. And I've heard this from multiple, multiple people. That two wheel drive is really excessive if, unless you're like really wanting to get out there, which, you know, we like to get out there, but we also like to chill in town and, you know, at least near, near towns to explore and just, I don't know you know, immerse, immerse ourselves into the different areas. We lack of variety, right? What would you guys rather want to see content of? Would you guys want to see van life or would you guys just want to see truck camper, truck with a camper of some sort? Or should I just keep rocking the GFC? What do you guys like to see? I don't know. I'm torn. But I feel like an upgrade is in our near future. That's for sure. So. I'm getting something eventually. What would you guys rather see? I'm still going to have the GFC though. This is this is just our adventure truck. You know, it's paid off. I love this truck. It's he, he's been good to us. Samuel, you've been you've been a great truck. But let me know down below. All right. Let's get this bed rearranged. All right. Here's my love-hate relationship with the form of floors. I gotta like, I need to like put these away. And I gotta go disassemble some things. All of this just to do this. All of this just to do that. No, oh, and I got one more here, so. Here we are. Oh, gosh. Okay. So now, these pillows in the sleeping bag 
we're in that spot, right? So now look, I can't fit as much over there. So I gotta move this stuff on that side so I can fit the sleeping bag and the pillows correctly. Like, don't get me wrong, I love the variety and I love the, you know, you could just do a lot of different things. I'm just moving some things over so that things over here will fit properly. My sleeping bag, which is gigantic. Still repping the zero degree these days, so. I got to put the pillows back in here somehow. Shove them in there. Jack right here. I think I can put, put this back. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh actually. Hold on. I might I might be onto something. Oh look at that. Alright, this is why you continue playing with your space. So now I got the pantry up here, the backpack over here, so I can just grab things when I need them, but I'm done getting things from out of there. Put this over here. Oh, look at that. Now I have a proper... Okay, okay. But not bad, not bad. Okay. Alright, put my hat up here because it's on the floor. This is perfect. I should look up how to make awesome card houses. <laughs> how to do it properly. Time for dinner. Keep that like that. This. So I'll probably add some seasonings. That's all we need. Let's do the adobo, just because why not? I should have brought some like soy sauce. Okay, so I'm reading the instruction, and it says to prep it, you have to drain and rinse the noodles. What? Like, for real, for real? Man, this is gonna be like when I didn't wash my rice, man. Oh, I see. Okay. It looks like you do have to rinse them out, so... They're kind of like... That starchiness there, you know? Don't want none of that! So yeah, look at that, it's like in a... It's in like a liquid. Maybe in here. Yeah. Let's try that. Look at that. We got multiple countertops to rinse them out. Oh. All right. Okay. I just need some water. Any chopsticks in here? Oh, damn. Noodles are being washed. That's what they look like, these 40 calories worth of noodles. It's a lot. I'm intrigued. This is good, guys. I might, I might do this again. I love trying different health foods, though, so this is it's up my alley. Be 
so hard to get those last few noodles. I need chopsticks, man. Oh, jeez. Alright, I'm just gonna have to... It's all good. I'm the only one eating this. Don't judge me. Okay, so... Mix the noodles and sauce in a fry pan. Heat for five minutes and eat them. Alright, let me just mix this around and we'll get the stove rolling, because... I'm pretty sure we, this doesn't need to be like that freaking hot when it hits the stove, so. It's all good. All right, adobo sauce. Oh man, I should have brought like some vegetables or something. This would have been good, but oh well. All right, so the sauce smells pretty good, so. I'm, I'm intrigued. Since I fail and I don't have, I don't have chopsticks in here. At least I'm pretty sure I do not. They're usually in this, but for some reason I noticed they were gone the other day. So I don't know where they are. Oh man, this smells pretty good. I'm intrigued. I really need to get chopsticks. Sorry. Oh gosh. I hate metal to metal like that. I'm sorry. It smelled good, but the taste of this is, eh, it's okay. I'd give it like a 4 out of 10. The noodles are very, uh, I don't know, like clear noodles, essentially. They're pretty hearty, and it does taste like, you know, very thick noodles. It's not like thin or anything, but I wish I had some soy sauce. I'm going to throw some, throw a little bit of onion in there, throw a little bit of garlic if I had some soy sauce, this would this would make it good, but we're just going to have to deal with some salt and pepper. Oh, if I had some MSG. I guess I could just put this on a plate like a civilized individual, but I just, I really don't feel like doing dishes. something weird about that. Uh, it's got a weird taste to it. I don't know. It's okay. Yeah. I don't know. There's a weird taste to that. After a couple bites in, I don't know wash that down with something. So I think I'm done eating that. Just like, I don't know. It's weird. It feels like my tongue is like, I don't know if it's like the lemon in it. No, oh, it's strange. Might have to make something else, y'all. I definitely wouldn't buy that again. I just want something easy. I just want to put some hot water in something. Let's go see. Alright, we got some udon. Actually, you know what? Let's just eat this. I know this is going to be good. I've actually been craving some udon because I've been watching Mav in Japan. And, I don't know, all his food is looking so good. I really want to go to Japan one day. Which I will. Alright, I'm just... I don't even... Don't even know what to do with that. I need to dump that water out. Damn it. All right. All right, hold on. Let's just to, just to make sure I'm not being dramatic. Just Let me just try this one more time. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. I'm good on that. It's just, I don't know, there's something about that flavor. It's just not very good. All right, so, moving on. Uh, da -da, da -da, da -da. This thing is saying soup base first, and then toppings and then noodles. So, and I, I was going to do that in a completely backwards way. But let's follow directions here. Okay. All right, we're going to throw the toppings in there. And then the udon. last. Now, I just need to get some water going. Alright, so let's warm some water. Let's dump this water from the really not good meal. Ooh, it's just water. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Can you imagine if that spills in here? It's gonna be absolutely horrible. Noodle water in here. <laughs> kind of windy tonight, but the temperature is perfect, literally. I don't know how much water I actually need, but I'm going to make extra water for, like, some tea. <laughs> Alright, we'll let that boil. So while we wait for our soup, let's pop on a movie. Alright guys, so we're going to watch an episode of Alone. I don't know if you guys have ever seen this show, but it's pretty awesome. Season 8, episode 11, The Reckoning. I've had this bungee cord up here for forever, and... I was like, I really want to hang my laptop like this right now, and the bungee is now coming into, coming in handy. Oh, 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 that's like perfect. Oh yeah. Not bad, not bad. We're gonna have to pull you for medical reasons. I don't want this was my Super Bowl. This was my Super Bowl. Dude's a grizzly. I've been using the car organizer down here just to hang some things. So I got my utensils, got the kitchen towel in there, got the lighter. So just to... as a little storage area. Comment down below, have you guys seen Alone? Alright, the noodles are done. Let's try this. It's kind of lame. It doesn't taste like anything. It's okay. I feel like I put too much water in there, but I followed the water line. Yeah, that's better. Drink some of that soup in there with it. We got some after dinner tea, so let's make some. So I got some of this Jin Mai decaf tea, Jin Matcha. I don't know what it's called, but it's good.
try and few casts while I'm down there. Oh, man. It's a strange thing. You never really completely let go of the possibility that you might be the last one out here. Alright, that's enough for me. Having that money would give me the ability to work on the things that I enjoy. Like doing something in the outdoor. Calling that done? This meal's enough to make me want to tap, man. <laughs> Alright guys, so now I'm trying to get ready for bed and I have to move all of this to get to the squares and bring them forward. Alright, I'm going back into bunk mode. Look at all this. But this is all of my gear though, so there's nothing outside right now, so that's why it just seems like there's a lot, but there really isn't. Got our sleeping bag in. Put pillows up here. And it is pretty warm tonight, guys, so I don't think I need the heated blanket or anything like that. I'll probably take this off. This is how we ended up this morning. It was so windy last night. I kept waking up midnight, 3 a.m. Around 4 a.m. I said, screw it, let's come down. And slept like a baby. The gusts were just coming in so strong. It was like shaking the truck, shaking the tent. It was wild. Here we are again. There's actually a really nice hike that we did over there. The trailhead's just a little bit over, a couple campsites over. And it's a really cool little bluff trail. I'll leave a link to it down below if you guys are interested, but the starting point is this campground. Let's clean all this up, huh? Hazelnut. Oh 
So I'm just gonna get the upstairs configured. And then we're just gonna hang out downstairs because this wind is still ripping and I don't wanna break anything. situated. I'm just going to put my sleeping bag in the cab so we can just hang out in here for a little bit. Make some breakfast and some coffee. Got our water. Let's get some coffee rolling. I don't know if you guys can hear that wind, but it is ripping. It's gotta be at least like 30, 40 mile an hour gusts or something. It's actually what the neighbor told me yesterday was that uh, today is supposed to be pretty crazy wind, but I told her that I was leaving this morning. So you always meet like the nicest people in campgrounds. So shout out to Dave, Dave Wanders. He has a YouTube channel as well. Um, so shout out to you, Dave. Thanks for the follow. One of my favorite instant coffees as well. If you guys are ever into instant coffee, sometimes I just want it to be easy, you know, especially if I'm in here and I don't want to take all the other stuff out. Instant oatmeal just can't get any easier than this. That is so hot still. so good. I actually haven't tried this brand of oatmeal yet. Let's see how it is. Hmm. That's pretty good. This is a blueberry, blueberry and hazelnut. Not bad. The views of this campsite are pretty, pretty awesome, or at least at my spot. Definitely a cloudy day today, though. 